Hello, hello guys, gals, everything in between and everything outside of that. My name is Melissa McCarthy. Should I wear the glove that I made that's super cozy or should I just wear one of the normal ones? Maybe I'll just wear one of the normal ones. Um, before I start anything, I just want to clarify that this is an art account. This is a man. Um, he is wearing gray sweats. Happy gray sweats season. It's the season of gray sweats. Shout out to you if you wear gray sweats. Are you sweating in your sweats? I don't know. But yeah. What I want to work on on this portrait. Last time I was live, which was last night or this morning, I don't know. We made him very shiny, so his pecs are very shiny. And abs, all the above. Love and balance fairy. Hello, love. Welcome. So what I mainly want to focus on, since the skin is basically done, I need to make the man hairy. TJ Creative, hello babes. Love and balance fairy. Will he get a happy trail? Treasure trail, yes. We're gonna connect it, and then we're gonna add some pepperoni lashes, and we should be set. Hey. I still don't know if I can see your username, but I see you, babe. TJ created OMG the hair. There will be more. We're gonna make him, we're gonna give him the trail and then some pepperoni hair, and we should be good. And just to constantly clarify, this is a man, this is an art account, and he is wearing sweats. So let's go to the right layer, which is the hair layer technical pen and we'll bring it down to like a two so that'll be the thickness of the hair yes arm hair as well NGL I kind of love this one thank you babe did you not like the other ones it's okay if you didn't Mustache. Ugh, me too, babe. I love mustaches. People in my last live said that this looked like Mario. Hello, NYC. Hey, babes. I haven't seen you in a bit. I think I sent you an email. I need to check that. So we're connecting. This is kind of like that painting, Michelangelo or something, where the two fingers like are like this, like. <clears throat> Rosie, hello, love. Welcome to my life. He's so diesel. Oh, like the brand diesel? Or like he's a diesel truck driver? Should give him a diesel belt. Rosie, I've been good. NYC War Turtle. I got the email and responded. Okay. Whew. Good. I was worried. I was like, oh my god. I'll go look at that after after this. T 
did you guys go to church today or what? How was church? Did you bring your bring your A game? <laughs> Gotcha. Hello, babe. I went today. Awesome. 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 Good to hear. That's what I like to hear. NYC War Turtle. I did not. You know what? I thought I didn't see you there. I was going to show up and pick you up and we could have gone, but there's always next Sunday. I have to go to school with a cat scratch. Yeah, that's something that cat owners always deal with. It's either that or you fell in a rose bush, know what I'm saying? I used to go several times a week. Really? Our church is only open on Sunday. I don't know your church was open 24-7. What's the name of that church? OMG, I need to... Okay. Sounds good, you. How come you your live never comes up for me? Um, I go live every day, but I don't know. Something's up with my TikTok. I can barely break over 100 views on a video. Something's going on. Or I'm just not... Uh, I'm, I'm not a very entertaining person, which is fine. But uh, I feel like my stuff isn't really prior. Which is cool. I'm cool. I'm cool with it. Nice art. Thank you. Gotcha. Mario. You're the one that brought up the Mario. I usually get Freddie Mercury, KFC, and Markiplier. But Mario is more of a newer one. You used to volunteer. Wow. No more. <laughs> that chapter of your life is zone. I think you're super entertaining. Thank you, babe. You're one of the few, so I appreciate it. He looks like he's Portuguese. Portuguesa. Portuguese sounds so pretty. I don't, I'm not really sure how Portuguese men look like. So doesn't Brazil have like, oh no, Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Portugal is different. Chapter closed. I lost my bearded dragon this morning and then realized he was asleep in my school book bag. That sounds like you plotted that. But I would do the same thing to take my bearded dragon to school love and balance very i haven't been to one of your lives in a few weeks because of deadlines at work but i love your stuff not a problem babe thank you for popping in whenever you can i appreciate it i just like chilling with y'all working on hairy men But if you ever want to see my finished art, <laughs> check out my Instagram. I'm always plugging it. I'm sorry. My bearded dragon likes to hang up on video calls. He's a pretty fast little dragon. I always wanted a bearded dragon, but my friend has a bearded dragon and the bearded dragon has digestion problems so we have to sometimes put it in the bathtub with warm water and just let him soak and i guess that opens up his bowels or something and after like an hour he finally let loose and it was funny because you could hear it went like and you saw like the bubbles come up <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. Sorry if that was too... TMI. I 
I already follow you on Insta. Oh, thank you, babe. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm a blo- what is that saying? I'm very obliged. Much obliged. Okay, do you guys like the happy trail? Are we vibing with it? I wanna add more denseness in this area. Once, once the hair is packed in enough, you're free to just kinda like do squiggles. And we'll do some hairs that like go over the, the gray sweats. My friend has two tree frogs, and when I was holding, it tried to eat my knuckle. Oh. Tree frogs are cute. But that doesn't hurt, right? Because they don't really have big enough teeth to break skin. I always have nightmares of... of me having, like, fish from the sea or, like, a lake. And for some reason I kept them in tanks and I put them in a room and I forget about them. And then I remember that they're there and I go back to look at them and they're like massive and like kind of freaky. I don't know what that means about my psyche. Maybe don't leave your demons unattended or else they'll grow into monsters. Who knows? But it's, I guess it's not a nightmare, it's just a strange dream. didn't hurt, but when she let her little sister, her little sister screamed really loud. It was probably like a, a response. Jericho, hello love. Look at that hair. Yeah, we're, we're giving him the hair, the hair treatment. And then we'll put I'm gonna do hairy arms and then hairy around the zip pepperonis and then I'll clean him up and he should be done. I wanna post him tomorrow. Mondays are good days to post art. Um, days that are not good, to, if you're an artist that posts on IG or other places, try avoiding Sundays and Saturdays. But anytime throughout the week is the best to post. Thanks for liking the live, you guys. I just imagine he has really hairy legs. We can't see them, obviously, but believe me, it's there. Okay, time for the pepperoni hairs. I can't zoom in too far because usually when I do that, some random person will log into this live and freak out and say, help. I don't know why. I don't know why younger people always say, help. I understand the gat. I understand is that Mario, but I never understand why they always say help in front of a comment. You'll need to be a little more creative, babe. Take some creative writing classes. Jericho, help! <laughs> yeah, they always say that. I'm at the point where I might, not, well, I'll randomly get a lot of viewers in here. It's rare, but sometimes they'll, they'll pop in and it'll just be like a lot of helps. Like, help! What am I watching? It's like, girl. What does it look like? Yeah. <laughs> and then they're the ones that clicked on the video. I'm like, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I didn't want to do a full hairy chest. I just wanted around the peps. Did you guys understand? I'm sorry they can't wreck <laughs> it. No, they're just trying to dog on me. So that is the pepperoni hairs. With pepperonis, if you look at a lot of pepperonis on your free time, you'll realize that there is like a, there is a section of around the pepperonis that doesn't get hair. It's kind of like a little crop circle. He a doity man. Yeah, he probably should go wash up after. I imagine he's at the gym. Or his home personal gym, whatever. Okay, so arm hair on this side will be kind of complicated. Because I don't know which direction it should be going. This one should be easier, but I... Many times I mess up the arm hair and it goes and ends up going the wrong direction. But I th think, does, is that the right way? I think arm hair can be a little thicker. I think that's the correct direction. Totally cruising. Have you ever done that? I'm too awkward. I can barely make eye contact with people in public. Oil slick zaddy. Yeah. That's the vibe. You know what? This arm hair looks. You know, we'll still work on it. A green crayon. Hey, babe. How long have you been here? Dang, I think maybe I did the arm hair the wrong way. Maybe it's supposed to be going this way. How do I always do that? War turtle. In my younger days, I frequented the Z areas with... Oh. Maybe... You live in like a bigger, like populated area, right? Like more metropolitan. Maybe I would have done that. I don't know. But now you're spoken for. I think it's the wrong way. Yeah. I'm like looking at my arm hair, but my arm hair is like too curly. So would it go this way? this way okay let's retry that A little shave how do I always mess that up Is this right? Wait, I don't think this is right.
looks so much better. My body hair here, it goes that way. <laughs> so if I was standing. <laughs> Is my body hair going the wrong way? Maybe we'll just focus on some pepperonis. And this arm will be way hard. Maybe we don't have to put a lot on this one since it's at an angle. My favorite part is on the edge doing these There's no wrong way. Bodies have so much variation. I don't know. Oh, I agree, bodies do have a lot of variation. But it's messing with my eyes. Hyper-realistic. Woof, indeed. Woof. Thanks, babe. Okay, I'm going to do the edge hair. Do you guys have hairy arms? Okay, I'm gonna do both. gotten hairier as I've gotten older. Ah, nice. I wonder if mine will get hairier later on too. Okay, so we're keeping this arm hair. However, I wanna try it the other way so I can do like a side by side comparison. So what I'm going to do is copy or just duplicate. Wasn't there a duplicate option? I swear there was. Okay. Duplicate. And then we erase it.
Dang, I'm confused. A solar eclipse? <sighs> Ooh, when? April 8th, okay. It might be cloudy where I'm at, but I'll keep an eye out. Let's try going. Crap, now I forgot which way the other one's going. Hey, babe. Baki Hanma, this looks better, never mind. What? <laughs> okay, this is the, the angle that I think it should be at. But I'll, we'll, do, we'll do both side by side. We'll comparison. So there's this one. Took a mental note of the hair direction. And then we have this one. So this one. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Okay, we have number one. And then we have number two. Which one do you, do you guys think? Two or number one? Thoughts? Bucky, one, NYC, two. So this is one. This is two. Still confused. Y'all are split.
tricky. I guess I can decide later. All right. Well, I guess we'll wait on that. <laughs> but, oh no, when did I do that? Dang it. What? That's a random hair that, uh, this will mess a few things up. I have to be careful zooming into the pepperonis. <laughs> Just pretend like that didn't happen, la la la. Thank you, Flauntalicious, for the follow. That sounds like a good band name. Thanks for the follow. Kind of like when the arm hair goes higher up. Even here. Danny, hello, babe. Do you remember me? I wish I could add armpit hair, but I don't think it would be visible. You sure? What's my name? Do you remember my name? You got it. That's me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna clean them up now. This is not that interesting, but it's just cleaning up like um, the edges and stuff, making sure things look more neat. I post this to my little shop. And we clean these outer layers. Happy gray sweat season, y'all. Still on the hunt to find some nice gray sweats. I feel left out. Oops, I mean to zoom out that far. Gray sweats are the best, for real. Got my eyes darting around. One time I posted a video of a pink elbow like this and it got flagged. I was like, oh, okay. Oh,
between the fingerlings. I know his hands kind of look like turkey feet, but we're gonna rock with it. He has good fingers for pottery. A little touch up there. Sorry, this isn't that interesting. Clean up his iPhone 11. Looking without looking is an art form. It is, and I feel like I always drop the ball. <laughs> oh, like um, Harry Knuckles. I like Harry Knuckles. Let's clean up these edges here. That's a good idea. Dang, he is shiny. He is a shiny man. He just, he was working out at the gym. He uh, worked up a sweat in his gray sweats. Sweats in gray sweats. Maybe that's what I should call this portrait. Maybe I'll just call this portrait gray sweats. Happy Gracewood season. Luja Bittakwa. I know that awkward eye contact when you get caught. I don't think I've been in that. What happens? What do they say, or what do they do? I want the inside scoop. The scoop de loop. This is a man's shoulder, by the way. No need to panic. Oh, uh, hmm. Thank you for your vague comment. We'll just block you because I don't want to risk it. Pew. Can't risk it, loves. Cleaning up the neck. This always happens to me at the gym. Sometimes they feel ashamed or act annoyed do they ever approach you you feel like mention <laughs> i'm too scared One guy made barking noises. Did you bark back? But I don't know what I would do in that situation. We missed a little bit of his little mustache. Boop. Ooh. I was obsessed with him. I'd get into the zone on the elliptical and would stare. Ah, okay. Like you didn't even notice you were doing it. No, I didn't bark. I talked about it with my <laughs> Is he still there? Does he still go to the gym? Like, do you still see him around?
think for the most part he's cleaned herb. That's a good question. I haven't been in ages. Should I get a gym membership? I always wonder. He was my pretend fantasy boyfriend for a while. Cute. So he's cleaned up, I think, all the edges. Oh, the hands, the other hand, I forgot. Only if you're going to go. I get kind of intimidated at gyms. Maybe I would freak myself out too much. I get intimidated and, and like, whoops, feel weird and, like, high, hyper-masculine situations like that like, what do i do <laughs> where do i look so maybe it's not the best idea oops Thank you for the follow. You are all ours. Thanks, babe. Whoa. I have both layers on there, and that looks wild. It's just supposed to be one. I get it, I feel like that sometimes. Yeah. Should we do the hairy knuckles? So these hairs should be going higher up. I'm still going to be debating the arm hair, but he is, oh, I'm going to take that M out of there. Now, what layer is that on? is where I overlined like this. Swipe. Swipe, swipe. Swipe. 
swipe. Swipe. What did the M stand for? Oh, Mitchell. <laughs> Someone told me to put an M on there. Welcome back, where'd you go? Oh yeah, you went to wash up, right? How was it? Let's clean the... His HD lace front. Okay. I feel like if I'm gonna give him hair that is that dense on his arm, I should go higher up. it all behind. Thanks for the follow, love. I do lives every day. Just letting y'all know. And I re-upload these to YouTube. Um, if you guys ever miss a live or just want to hear me ramble about stuff as I work on Harry, guys, check out my YouTube. I'm trying to be more active on YouTube. They're all, YouTube's a lot nicer to the legit bit So I've been putting more eggs in that basket. Right now, the worst app to share legit bit stuff would have to be IG. It used to be this app, but now IG has really been acting up. It's been really stressful. Um, here is okay, but they don't push my videos out, um, which is fine, because I like the editing tools. Ah, oh, Dylan! Where have you been, Dylan? I wanted to talk to you. Dylan? Dylan, darling. Thanks for the likes here, 1.7. Oh, you know, just floating around. Well, babe, get back down to earth. <laughs> um, I watched the third episode of RuPaul's Best Friend Race. What did you think about it? I didn't realize that the there's going to be so many runways that I thought that the website that I watched it on glitched and I was accidentally watching wrong episodes that weren't even released. I'm like, oh no. Underrated. Thank you, babe. Thank you, thank you. Me and my BF love it. The RuPaul's Dread, the third episode. It was, it was pretty good. A lot of fashion going on. For real, it was 3.16. Yeah. You don't like plain Jane? I liked her looks this time better than the, the first episode. I mean the second episode. But I really liked... And wind, and I was really sad that Geneva Carr was 
at the bottom. I don't think she deserved to be at the bottom at all. I think she's cute and funny and, and gives a good performance. Her, is she not making her pants? Oh yeah. Her, is she, that was bad. And what was up with that lash? <laughs> it's like, push it up a little bit. Yes, N was so good. She deserved that. Her, her ties are like very Vivian Westwood high fashion. I think she is the high fashion girl. So I might, I think I might be an N wind person. The makeup was, oh yeah, the lash and the hair. I was like, dang. But I really liked her. But that was bad. Like I could do any better. Yeah, she was so sweet and funny. The other looks were cool, like the bee outfit. The world one wasn't that cute. But she has such a good personality that I bet. People that should have been at the bottom, I think. I like Alice. What is it? Oh no, Amanda. I like Amanda, like as a personality, but those, all the looks. She definitely deserved to be at the bottom with uh, Hershey. You don't like Jane's personality? Me too. I think she's turning it up for the cameras. I'm like, okay, girl. But people say that she's nicer in the the uh, what is the after show? Untucked. Runway and Q was sadly, oh. Yeah, Q. That wasn't it. Amanda's drag is developing, yeah. People say that it's really good now. I guess she got read so much. But she seems like a really fun person. Like she makes up for her dry makeup, like for being funny and sweet. What's the horrible news, Joe? Hopefully it's not that horrible. Ricky Jane is playing the game. She's getting her screen time. Yeah, she's very, I feel like Jane is being very strategic with her sassiness. Like, she wants that screen time. Because some people are just m mean, and it just exudes off camera. You don't really have to say mean things. It just, like, happens. But she's really going for it. What about your husband, Joe? Dylan, she is fun, though. So now that you've seen... Who is your favorite queen now? I think my favorite queens are N. Wind and also Geneva Carr. Those two are my favorite. Joe, it sounds fake, but he faked his death to leave me? I found out a week after. What? Is that even legal? Are you okay? Megami looked so much better this week. I forgot how Megami looked. There's so many runways. I think she fired too hard at first. Dropped at... <laughs> when she should have started with water. Pew pews. And wind. And still Duan. I'm still... Oh yeah, I'm still on the Duan boat. Ricky. N and Safira for me. Ooh. Geneva is F for me. I don't know. I like I liked her. I did like her runway stuff. Like I thought the bow pupe was cute. She looked bad last time. 
No, I didn't, but it's over now. I'm just finding new passions in life. Have you spoken to him? That's rough, man. Her runway was cute. Ricky, wait. It was cute. I liked it. The last look wasn't the best, but definitely not worse than the others. Ricky, wait, Mitch, can you not say N on live? I can't. <laughs> I can't even say G A Y or anything. So that's definitely a riskier one to say. <laughs> so I call her N Win. You gotta be safe, babes. Yeah, I've been, I used to say um, hi, G-A-Y-S, like on my lives a lot. And then people reported me for bullying and stuff. So I have to be, I can't even say a lot of things that are bullying or inappropriate. Any way that they could misconstrue, misconstrue it, it happens. They are on. I feel like they're better now, but I don't want to risk it. IG is definitely on one. Greta, hey babe. What? <laughs> Turns out he lied to me about his name for years. He said his name is Avi, but now it's Liam? How far did he leave to? I hope you... are seeing someone. Hey there, how are you? Hello, Nana. I'm good, how are you, babe? Greta. Hey, Mitch, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I think I'm gonna go eat some chocolate cake. There's a big chocolate cake downstairs. I'm really excited. 300 calories a slice. He moved far from me. He moved to New York. Ugh. Liam, what the heck? How long were you guys together? It's devastating. Get some cake. I love cake. Me too. And it looks like the cake, it's from, um, do you guys have that? It's not Costco, but it's Sam's Club. I like Sam's Club over Costco. Red Velvet is the best with the creamy white frosting. I love this. Thank you, Josh. We don't have Sam's Club, but I've been in GA. Yeah, I like it a lot better. It's not as busy. I feel like Gen Z freaks out over Costco. And so, like, it's always busy and competitive. Sam's Club, same products, same deals. It's chill. And they have, like, a self-checkout that you just walk through. You download the app on your phone and you scan everything and you put it in your cart and you walk through like this portal and it verifies that you bought it and then you just leave. So minimal contact. Jackson Heights. As a Gen Z, yes, I love Costco. Yeah. Do you have a Sam's Club by you, Dylan? You should check it out if you want a more chill experience. We do. Do you not like Sam's? I like Sam's. And I like their food better, too. They have good stuff that you can just throw in the oven. I'm gonna go read. Okay. Joe. I hope you feel better, babe. Drink a lot of water. Watch some reality TV. That always helps me. I don't know what BJ's is. I just like Costco vibes. I don't know. <laughs> it 
is a vibe, but it's too much, too much foot traffic for me. I'm not in New York City. Why is this music so eerie? More oil. Are you the, the person that always says Mario? Welcome back to my life. There you go. Back on brand, babe. Dylan, well remember, babe, I live in Mississippi. It's not terribly packed. Maybe I would like Mississippi Costco. When I vacation in Mississippi, let's have a Costco um, party. I live in a college town and it's in Utah, so it's very much, if you've seen Utah TikToks, it's very much uh, what it's like. A lot of bleach blondes, a lot of, what are those? A lot of Stanleys. Passive aggressive and then aggressive Karens. Mario, you followed me. I thought you didn't like me. Thank you, babe. Done. Does being in a college town make it more affirming? No, not in my town. My town is very religious still. If I lived in like Salt Lake City, wait, affirming for what? <laughs> Mitsumi Guan, love your work. Thank you, love. Oh no, yeah, I live in a super religious area. If you drive an hour away to Salt Lake City, there's a, a great counterculture. You see pride flags everywhere. Um, but where I'm at, it's very religious and very stuck up and judgmental. It's not the best place to be the Jibitiqua where I am. Their platform, Intercom's platform. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was an ad. So I'm looking for places to rent in Salt Lake, but they've really jacked up the prices pretty high. LDS, yeah. I was raised Mormon. Baptized. Back to work? All right. Well, I'm going to go eat some cake. Thank you guys for popping in. I love you guys. Stay glamorous. Bye-bye.